What is it like living in Italy as a foreigner? I have the privilege today, ladies and gentlemen, of speaking with one of my most ardent website fans and subscriber, Rosemary Dawn Allison. She's going to tell us about life in Italy as a Jamaican Canadian British. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, well, let's see here again, guys, from myislandjamaica.com. Good to have you. Thank you for joining me. I'm having a special discussion today on our new spotlight feature. It's actually the second, second edition. It's, it's, it's episode two. Last week, we had one with Sherry Avery Black, a white American living in Jamaica. There's a link in the description below. And today, I have Rosemary Dawn Allison. She's a Jamaican. British Canadian living in Italy. I don't want to find out from her what is it like living in Italy. Of everywhere in the world, she chose Italy. What is it like living there? If you're new here, welcome. Good to have you. In fact, I invite you to hit that subscribe button if you're on face on, on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification. I do a lot of videos capturing stuff like these. The real Jamaica, authentic Jamaica, interesting personalities of and from Jamaica. And I would not want you to miss any of that. All right, so hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification. That way, you stay updated on all my latest videos and live streams. I'm going to introduce to you now, bring in Rosemary Dawn Allison. Rosemary. <laughs> Hello, how are you all? Um, awesome, awesome. Uh, yeah. Awesome. So happy to have you again. Thank you for accepting the invitation, my friend. Thank you for being one of my most ardent uh, fans on, on YouTube and also on my website for over, what, three, four, five years? Yes. It's a while. It's a while. About five years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how did you get, how did you get there? How did you get to Italy? Well, um, when I was six years old, we were, we as, as a family came to Italy for Easter. Mm -hmm. And then, um, then I went back to living in um, Jamaica, England, and then Canada, and then the States. And when I was very far on, one day I had um, a holiday coming up. Mm. And uh, I decided I was going to Italy, and I happened to have a, a lot of Italian friends. This was when I was in New York. Mm -hmm. And if you have one Italian friend, you have um, a, like a hundred Italian friends. And so oh. they all heard that I was coming to Italy. So one gave me their um, key to their apartment and and another one invited me. So in that way, I came to Italy. And when I came to Italy, I felt so much at home because in a very strange way, maybe, um, Italy reminded me a lot of Jamaica. And, and um, I can't quite put my finger on it because of course it's very different. Mm -hmm. But I think what it, what it was is that, um, in Italy, as in Jamaica, family is very important. Yes, so, yes, yes. yeah, that that is uh, that was that's one big similarity. All right, so let's let's back up a little bit to Jamaica. So you are yeah. you're a Jamaican, Canadian, born, yes, British, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Italian. Well, not quite Italian. You're a foreigner in Italy. No, no. no. Yes. You're you're a foreigner, right? Right. You're still a foreigner. Yes, still. yes. Yeah. Tell me a little quickly a little about the Jamaican experience. Um you were born in Jamaica, right? Born in Jamaica. All right. So tell us quickly a little bit about that experience in Jamaica. And then we go back to Italy. Okay. All right. So well, I was born in Jamaica, but then we were in England and then we came back to Italy in back to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And uh, my my grandmother 
had a cattle cattle farm mm. and then uh then of course then my grandmother died and then mm -hmm. my mother and father took it over mm -hmm. And then after that, um, my sister was there for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so she, she took over the running of the property. Um, but in that time, I was um, in New York and Canada and Italy. I was working. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> but uh, I also went to school in, uh, as I said, at some point. I said and, and, uh, I went to school wait, in Brownstown. In Brownstown, Servite. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What school? What school was that? Yeah, it was a Servite. It was Servite. I mean, it, we're talking about like just a little under a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so, okay. So that was that was like like a like a uh, it's like a a, a church kind of. Religious organization. It was, uh, it was. It was the Servite Convent, so it was a um, Roman Catholic school. Oh, okay. I got but, you. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Got you. But, uh, all right. Well, let me. They were a very happy group of nuns. <laughs> okay. All right. Wonderful. Let me let me just recognize a couple of persons here. Uh, my mm -hmm. friend, acknowledge a few persons coming in. Some of my fans. I mm -hmm. see Rex. Rex, my friend. Good day to you too, sir. Nice to have you always here, my brother. Uh, oh, you got the pimento last night. That was quick. That was quick. Uh, Rex, Rex guy is one. Uh, Rex is one of my, just like you, he's one of my ardent, most ardent fans. Um, mm -hmm. Don. And so we had a little giveaway last on one of the shows. And I gave him some, the winner got some authentic Jamaican all spice, pimento. And so he just, he's just acknowledging now. He's saying he got it. So good to hear, Rex. Rex. And let me... Let me rec acknowledge as well, Shelly Wilkes. I see, I see. Is that Abby? Abby, uh, Shelly Wilkes. Yes, it's true. Italians are as warm as Jamaicans, and family, family means a lot. Are you from Italy? Are you from Italy, uh, Shelly? I would love to. I would love to know. Oh, Cherry Avery Black is in the building. Cherry, happy second spotlight. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Cherry was the person I interviewed last last time. So she's she's again, oh my, she's a friend, she's family to me, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's let's thank you. Thank you, Rosemary. So let's let's go back to Italy now. So you you're in Italy. What what is what is life like in Italy as a foreigner? Okay. I lived in Rome. My first my, my first visit was Rome and uh, I lived in Rome and and what I found is that people are very usually very friendly but um, there are also you know some people who do not like foreigners I mean and but this is this is like anywhere in the world so let's say if you go to a shop and you find that the person in the shop doesn't like you you don't go back. <laughs> so you go to a, okay. another shop where they do like you. The yeah. good thing about in Italy is that um, they are far more patient with you if you don't speak Italian. I mean, oh, I had okay. a few words, you know, like uh, cafe and yeah. you know, pasta. <laughs> you know? uh <-huh. laughs> I mean, these are, these are words that we all know. And yeah. when I said pasta, they would go, Oh, you speak <laughs> Italian. <laughs> yeah, I actually wanted to ask you that. Uh, can you, yeah. can you, can, how much can you get around, I mean, comfortably without speaking English? You can, you, you can, can get around. I mean, they, in fact, a lot of, uh, a lot of Italians speak English or other languages. I mean, we're in Europe, oh. so and you will find that people speak more than one language i mean you can you can go and you you sit in a restaurant at a table and people can be talking in a lot of different languages so um especially in uh, places where they're used to seeing tourists people mm -hmm. can speak english or mm -hmm. 
they will make an effort to understand you. They are not, I, I, will, I will say that when I was in, uh, you know, I, I think it's di more difficult in places like France and England, for example, where people oh. seem not to be so patient. Or war, oh. yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Oh. So you, 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 um, I, I want to, again, uh, people are coming in and, and so on. I want to, uh, I just want to tell you, my friends, for those of you who are watching, if you have any questions, make sure you make a note of it. We're going to, I'm, I'm going to invite you to ask Don, any question you have about or related to Italy. <laughs> oh, Rosemary, okay. yeah. Related to Italy. Yeah. So I uh, welcome that. So make a note of your questions. Uh, so you can put it to to to, to I almost said Don again. Rosemary Don Allison. <laughs> all right. The is there okay. any is there any? Well, first of all, how do you how do you how, how, how do you get to Italy from say Jamaica? Okay. What? Yeah. Well, I it depends if if you want to come as a visitor. I mean, you can find all yeah. of this information on the the internet. You have to apply for yeah. a visa to the Schengen area. And they say, depending on which country you want to go to, you go to that consulate or embassy. And not all of the countries have consulates or embassies in Jamaica, but they all do the work for the others. So, I mean, again, on the internet, you would find all of that out. Um, okay. And you would get a visa for uh, three months. Mm -hmm. No, wait a moment. It's it's um, no more than six months. No more than six okay. months, and no fewer yeah. than fifteen days. Okay, I see. I see. I yeah. See. So you get so you get a visa, and then you travel to. So you 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 go you go through another country before you get to Italy. Obviously. You uh, yeah. Well, let's say I have always <clears throat> I've always traveled. Um, from from Jamaica, I've usually yeah. traveled Jamaica, Miami, Miami, wherever, or yeah. Jamaica, uh, London, England, and yeah. then from there um, down. Uh, oh, I see. I see. Th yeah, and there, there were there is a flight. I mean, I did go on a flight once that went. Um, let's say Jamaica. Miami, Miami, Madrid, <laughs> Madrid, <laughs> Rome. So my, my, there are a lot of my, combinations. Yeah, and Madrid is Spain, uh, obviously, and then Rome is Rome is Rome is the capital of Italy, right? Well, it's the it is the it is the capital. I mean, Milan is more the business capital. Okay, okay. But Rome is the capital of the culture and. Um, yeah, a lot of history. It's the cultural capital. Yeah. Yeah. I are you? You're not in Rome, are you? No, I'm in. I'm. I'm in Friuli, Venezia Giulia, which is north eastern Italy. I am mm -hmm. on the border with. Um, when I say on the border, I'm not right on the border. Mm -hmm. uh, Austria and Slovenia. Mm -hmm. So wow. a lot of the the food here is influence that has that kind of influence like um austrian influence to it mm -hmm. ah the the any is there any jamaican presence uh, uh if do you know okay well let's put it this way when i say that i was born in jamaica of well the first thing they say and and it's it's not a great thing because the it's uh it's bob marley they, everyone remembers <laughs> bob marley i mean yes, yes. the real thing is that i should be able to then do more publicity for other musicians at that point yes. so everyone knows um the music of of jamaica and uh people have a very positive reaction to jamaica and what comes from Jamaica? Yeah. I mean, more than the music, and um, so there, there is a, a like a Jamaican presence here. There are Jamaicans here, but yeah. we're we're all kind of spread out 
Okay. And we, we all sort of came here for possibly different reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, let me ask you. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. The culture, the culture, is there any particular, fo you, you, you know a little about the, the culture of Jamaica and obviously Italian now and so on. Is, that, mm -hmm. is there anything, what about like folklore and stuff there? Uh, is there anything you can tell us that may, okay. that may be of interest, you think? Anything, anything okay. any belief? Uh, yeah. Um, let's, let's say that um, a lot of, I was told this by a Roman Catholic priest. He said that all the saints' days, um, are based on the the days of the the old like um, ancient gods of Greece and Rome. So it was one. Oh. It was okay. So that's one thing. Yeah. There are some some very like spectacular um, uh, feast days. Let's say. For me, my favorite is uh, uh, San Antonio Abate um, because <laughs> the animals, the animals get blessed. The animals are blessed. Oh. I mean, there's, there's uh, San Fran Fra Francesco, who we know, um, is also for the animals. But um, it's it's this one, San Antonio Abate, that that um, people bring their animals to the church to be blessed. Really? And it's wonderful. Yeah. Really? It's just a wonderful festival. So, yeah. So hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, a little bit. hold on a little bit, Rosemary. All right. So yeah. I'm interested. I'm interested. That's I'm curious. Okay. So what day what day what holiday is that? San Antonio Abate. San Antonio Abate. It's a holiday. that's a holiday Abate. in Italy. And and yeah. that day. Well and it, that day it's People Sorry, bring their animals to the church. It's not. It's not like a holiday. Holiday. It, it's. And then, then uh, on the sixth of January, there's another uh -huh. one. It's like um, it's Epiphany, but they call it La Befana, uh -huh. <laughs> which is um, is it's she's supposed to be a witch, and then uh -huh. um, where I am, they they build a huge fire, like. Uh -huh like a huge fire <coughs> excuse me that's okay that's okay and they, they they um they they burn this fire because it's like um burning winter and they burn the witch of winter to oh. welcome the spring but this is a, a very pagan festival but ah. you know ah. and which, which has been left over for generations i mean it's wonderful when you when you see these ancient festivals yeah. and you you learn a little bit about the history it's very 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 interesting very interesting mm -hmm. by the way it, it's 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 11 48 in jamaica now am it's it's 12 48 eastern what time is it there now in italy i just want to it's 18 18 48 so it's almost a, in the in the night in the evening yeah Okay, all right. I'm gonna ask you about the do's, the do's and don'ts for a, for a foreigner. And this foreigner now is not just Jamaican. Whether you're an American, yeah, whether you're a an foreigner, Canadian, right. whether you okay. are a British, yeah. anywhere else you are, okay. if you're living it, if you're going okay. to live in, what? if you're going right. to live in, yeah, if you're going to live in Italy, Italy, I'm gonna ask you to share on that. But just before you do that, uh, Rosemary, I'm gonna acknowledge a few more persons mm -hmm. who came in. Uh, I want to acknowledge Keisha Crooks. Good morning, Crooksy. Always here, my fan, my friend. And oh, she, Shelly, Shelly said that she's from she's from Jamaica, but she had, oh, she, you've been to it, Italy. Oh, good, good, Shelly. Well, well, Shelly, probably we need to talk. Well, that's good, good. Cassie in the building. Cassie, Cassie Chin is always here, man. Good to have you. Thank you for joining, Cassie. All right, so. Back to you, Rosemary. What are okay. the absolute do's and don'ts for someone okay. coming to live in Italy? Not just a Jamaican, but anybody coming to live in Italy. Everybody. Okay. Here's a good one. 
when, uh, when I first came to uh, Italy in Rome, I was told to wear dark clothes because you can tell that the tourists, because they're all wearing pale colors, light colors, uh, all sorts of different colors uh -huh. clothing. But you must wear, like to fit in, you must wear sort of like dark clothes. Trump. I mean, not, uh, I mean, yeah. And, and then also, um, you must never order a cappuccino after lunch or after lunch a cappuccino which is you know ah, coffee with the milk coffee. in it yeah it's absolute no no ah. so those are ah. say, those are basically just two things <laughs> <laughs> and uh interesting I, and sorry you're saying something else there's a, there's a thunderstorm in the area Oh, so there's a little delay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to keep it very long. We're not going to keep it very long. I wanted to find out from you, though. Uh, well, quickly, what are the similarities you would say between Jamaica and Italy? Uh, well, <clears throat> you know, off the top of your head, don't think too, too deep. What, what do you okay. what, there, there's a, there are a couple of things that um, when I eat them, I always think of Jamaica. There's there's a dish that they call uh, star, uh, uh, anyway. It, I can't remember um, uh, sade uh, sour, sour. I, I, okay, it's a <laughs> it's a Veneto dish. It's from and it's 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 um, sardines. Um, uh -huh. with onions and um, uh -huh. raisins and then raisins. There's, there's other stuff too but when uh -huh. when I eat that I think of skivich skivich fish cabbage cabbage because it's it's a, it's a very it's a it's a similar flavor um I I've lost you. I mean, I can't hear you. Uh, oh, there was a little there was, <laughs> because there's a yeah, delay. There was a little delay. Sorry, there was a little break in transmission. Yeah, it was a little. Yes, but yeah. you said it reminds you of what cabbage? Sardines. You said it reminds sardines. Uh huh. Hmm? Uh huh. With uh, sardine onion. Uh -huh. And and we uh, have scabbed fish. Okay, so okay. so basically that's that's one that's one dish that I remember. That okay okay. That 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 that's it. Yes, all right. So tell me now. Tell me now. A student, a professional, a visitor, whoever. If if you, what opportunities would you say? Uh, are there in Italy right now for somebody who might be watching or who will watch the replay? I want to say, okay, uh, this is a wonderful opportunity in Italy. Is there any you could, I mean, you could point out? Um, don't My, don't okay, overthink okay, it. Just... Like, like um, a lot of people, um, they, they, they say there's no, there's no work, but I noticed that people uh, again, Italians who are like Jamaicans, who are mm -hmm. uh, inventive and and um, a, in, I, I can't I can't remember the word now in English. Imprendi, imprenditore. In, um, oh. they, they, yes. they 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 do things like yeah. on their own. Like yeah. they they are self-employed. Yes, yeah. independent. Um, the, yeah. Okay. So these people have work. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. So so so, so there are and, lots of um, opportunities there for persons. Oh, there was a little break in there again. I think they maybe yeah. the thunderstorm on your side there. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, well, let me let me. I'm so okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Continue. No, no. Go again. You ask me. Okay. Ask well, me. there's a question I want to. 
Yeah, I wanted to I, I, the question I wanted to ask you, uh, and and but before, let me just let me just pause to just again. All my viewers, all of you who are watching now, make sure you hit that like button. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're finding the information useful, this is I, 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 I'm learning a lot. Thank you so much, Rosemary. Share this, share this video right now with someone. Appreciate it. A friend of mine reminded me, Kathy, actually, I've been noting, reminded me to in, remind my viewers, you, to like the video. And that apparently that helps with the algorithm uh, as well. So do that, do that for me now. But there's a question I ask all my interviewees. Mm -hmm. You know the question too, right? You should. All right. The question is, in your mind, Rosemary, what makes Jamaica special? What makes Jamaica special? Yes. Uh, there, there are so many things that make Jamaica special. It's uh, there's uh, the warm, warm people, um, mm. sense of life, um, the environment, the 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 green, the, the colors, uh, the life that's that's yeah. in the markets. I mean, these are these are the beaches. I mean, these yeah. beaches. There are some beaches that we will ignore the beaches for the tourists, but there are beaches that are so special that I think that if you are a Jamaican, that if you are, you must appreciate what you have because um, Jamaica is is like a, a jewel, really. I mean, it's a very special place, and I think that uh, some people, as Jamaicans, I think they forget this. They they think Jamaica is a small place. Jamaica is a a, a small island. It's a big island and mm -hmm. has a big heart. So that's what's special yeah. about Jamaica. Wow, you, that sounds like it was scripted, man. I like it. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. <laughs> you, can, any... <laughs> you can borrow it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any final words from you, my friend? Uh, any final words from you before we, 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 we close off for today? Uh, let me let me let me uh, just again while you're thinking, let me just uh, acknowledge a like, few. Okay. Oh, I see, I see Cherry. Oh, she's saying that the cabbage fish. You're referring to it probably Esca Esca Beach Beach. Fish. exactly. Okay, okay, okay. Escovitch fish. Thank you, thank you, Cherry. Oh, um, and 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 Shelly just is just confirming, uh, acknowledging what you're saying that yes, it's Jamaicans, creative and resourceful. All right, all right. So let me ex exactly. Oh, Escovitch, I see. I, I'm seeing your note. Any final words from you, my friend? No, I I can't hear you because of the thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. All right. Well, I'm gonna have you get off as quickly as you can. I know you're at home, um, but get off as quickly okay. as you can because we don't want a breaking transmission. Thank you so okay. much, R Rosemary, All for right. joining for on, on our second episode of the Spotlight. I really, really appreciate you. A Jamaican, Canadian, and, British, and living okay, living in and and thank Italy. you, thank you. And thank you to everyone else and, and for all your comments. They're 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 very they're very good comments. Thank you. Oh, you mean to, to all my get all my okay. viewers, all my fans there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, wonderful. Thank you so much okay. again. I will be in touch with you, my friend. Thank you guys for watching. Okay. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure sharing with you. Look all forward. Right. Next week we have a new episode, episode number three. We have somebody interested as well. This is indeed the real Jamaica.